Moss Book 2 is one of the best games available on PSVR 2, and in this video, we will be going for the Platinum Trophy. Just like in Moss Book 1, we must assist Quill by helping her defeat enemies and solve puzzles throughout this epic adventure. As the reader, Platy Dan will have to watch over Quill to ensure that she can eliminate all that threatens the land of Moss. There are 46 trophies to obtain, ranging from collectibles to finding secret areas and also completing an entire chapter without a single death. Alrighty then, let's get started on the journey to achieve Moss Book 2's Platinum Trophy. After defeating Sarfog and rescuing Uncle Argus, Quill continues her adventure to eliminate the evil forces that threaten her homeland. The first trophy is obtained after Platy Dan and Quill enter the castle together. Sorry, her poor uncle was too injured castle. to defend himself should the Arcane find him again. Shortly after that, they come across their first forgotten fragment, of which there are a total of 48 to collect throughout the game. What was lost? Got a fragment. Whenever Quill gets hurt, Platy Dan can use his powers as the reader to heal her back to full health. Quill, you're far too important to risk yourself for me. The greater good must always come Friend before indeed. matters of the heart. This next trophy is earned after defeating these enemies known as Screechers. The battle begins. There are a few secret rooms called Relic Shrines, which contain treasures that Quill can collect. Obtainer of Rare Antiquities. The treasure collected from this room is a new set of armor, which can be equipped for another trophy. Glow up. New suit of armor. Like the King's Guard of old, Quill now felt the history of every battle her uncle led. The castle serves as the main hub, and after the area has been explored, Quill makes her way towards the Sprite Realm. The Sprite Realm. Inside the Sprite Realm, Platy Dan unlocks a new ability, which allows him to grow vines that will help Quill traverse many obstacles. Ooh, that's cool. Go! Oops. Green thumb. As the reader, Platy Dan has the ability to take control of enemies, and this trophy is unlocked by destroying an enemy ticker with another ticker. Chain reaction. Collecting all eight forgotten fragments in a single chapter rewarded our hero with another trophy. Restoration. Got all the fragments in this uh, area. For some reason, Platy Dan was a total jerk and enjoyed vandalizing objects throughout the castle. It's like bubble wrap. The next chapter brought our hero to the garden, which had an absolutely beautiful atmosphere. The garden. This new enemy called the Ripper can be controlled to barrel through enemies and also helps in solving some puzzles later on. Rolling, rolling, rolling. A few minutes later, Platydan and Quill arrive at a new area known as the Conservatory. The conservatory. At the conservatory, Quill learns a powerful ability that allows her to cross large gaps. Do not let her passion surpass her means. 
We've zoom, zoom. too far. Don't! Oh! Whoa. Okay. Another enemy that can be controlled is the Scorcher, and a trophy is rewarded by destroying one with another controlled Scorcher. High noon. Inside of most destructible objects, there is a collectible known as Relic Dust, and collecting half of this Relic Dust earns our hero a trophy. A light dusting. At the end of the conservatory, Platydan and Quill come across their first boss encounter, the Keeper, oh. <laughs> who must be destroyed. Keeper of the Hex. High five. After destroying the Keeper and returning to the castle, tragedy strikes as the evil owl known as Tylan pushes Quill and Uncle Argus off the edge of the castle. Uh-oh. At this point, Quill becomes trapped below the castle, and all she can do is mourn the death of her uncle. It's so sad that even I want to cry. <laughs> there is still hope, however. Platydan seeks out another hero named Sahima, who is hesitant to help out initially. Sahima quickly realizes that terrible things will happen to the land of Moss if nothing is done to prevent the evil forces from prevailing. A trophy is rewarded here for reaching the mountains chapter. She had to fight, even if that meant playing into this mountain's hands. Our new hero has her own set of weapons and skills, and she can use her charged chakram ability to activate switches that will open up new passages. Whistle while you work. She can also use this same ability against enemies. There and back again. Platy Dan and his companions have collected all of the forgotten fragments for three separate chapters at this point, which rewarded another trophy. Eternal Light. Eventually, Sahima and Platy Dan make it back to the castle and enter the depths, where they begin their search and rescue of Quill. The depths. A little while later, our reader is reunited with Quill, and they kick Sahima off to the side like the garbage rodent she is. What she did know was she had Unbreakable missed her bond. friend very much. Not long after that, Platy Dan and Quill make it to a new area that is very dangerous, known as the Foundry. Foundry. In here, they discover a new and powerful weapon known as Cariel's Hammer. Arm day. This trophy here was gotten accidentally, as the giant piston here just barely crushed this armored screecher enemy. Oh, nutcracker. Got that by accident. This was another trophy that was gotten unintentionally, where Platy Dan shot a mine from this bomber and hit another mine that he misplaced earlier. This guy isn't good, he's just lucky. Minesweeper. Thank you. 
At the end of the foundry, there waited the second big boss fight of the game. Oh. The warden is big and scary, but he's no match for Quill and Platy Dan. in the deep. That was awesome. Quill could almost hear Uncle Argus in her mind, overjoyed knowing the Warden had finally been defeated. On the journey back to the castle, they discover the final relic shrine that is needed for a trophy. We call this archaeology. Now it is time for our heroes to end this madness by taking down the evil Owl Tylan. But to do this, they must first ascend to the pinnacle. A rift is being torn, good reader. Please, you must stop him, or he will unleash chaos unseen since the great unmaking. Pinnacle. The Pinnacle is the final chapter in the game, and there are still many trophies to unlock at this point. This includes knocking a Screecher off the edge of the map. From whence you came. There are parts of this level where the gravity is shifted, and charging Quill's sword while in this alternate gravity rewards a trophy. Babe with the power. Huh. For this trophy, Quill must eliminate three enemies with a single sword dash attack, which is pretty badass. Poetry in motion. Uh-oh. There is another trophy for defeating enemies with three different weapons in quick succession. Quick change artist. Nice. And another one where Platy Dan uses an enemy as a shield against an attack. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty messed up. Ablative armor. And now it is time to put an end to Tylan's evil reign once and for all and save Moss from eternal damnation. Oh, wow. wings. That concludes Moss Book 2, but it is not over yet, as Platy Idiot missed a few trophies during that first playthrough. You saved Moss. The first one that he missed was cutting down a crap ton of grass throughout the game, which was a very grindy trophy. There it is, lawnmower mouse. Took, took me forever to get that. This one is sort of an Easter egg as there is a hidden door behind these wooden planks that is inaccessible. A realm grown complacent. What is that? At one point, Platy Dan lost his marbles and decided to torture Quill, forcing her to become dizzy just for a stupid trophy. What a psycho. Tailspin.
This trophy here is rewarded for destroying three enemies with one strike of the hammer's special ability. Thimble-sized Thor. Nice. This right here was the 48th and final forgotten fragment, needed for a pain in the rear collectible trophy. Curator. That's all the uh, forgotten fragments. Sweet. Even worse than that was the 351 relic dust that is hidden within destructible objects all throughout the game, and it is very easy to miss. Yes, Dustbuster, that's all the relic dust. And finally, the last trophy needed to pop the platinum was to complete Sahima's chapter without a single death. It sounds hard, but trust me, it was pretty damn easy. No! What am I, stupid? Sahima heard something echo from the depths below. She inched her way to the edge to get a better look. That's it. With friends like these, the no death run completed. No death chapter. And meticulous, punctilious, and scrupulous. Platinum trophy, Moss Book 2. After Ooh. a jolting drop, that was a good time. I love this game. Blade. I'm just gonna go on a rant for a few seconds here. Only 1.8% of people have platinumed this game, while only about 17% have even beaten it. Are you kidding me? It took Platy Dan just under seven hours to platinum this game, and that was without a guide. And he's a moron. I guess kids these days are too lazy to play games that are fun and exciting. I'm sorry. I get a little passionate sometimes. I am the narrator, for God's sake. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or I will come after you. Goodbye now, and happy platinum hunting.